my chicken wangs. So let's go ahead and jump into this bronzy makeup tutorial. So I'm just going to start out with my NARS concealer. This is a very thick concealer. It is new and I love it so much for priming the eyes because it covers absolutely everything. So to set that down, Oh my god, I dropped it. I'm just using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I shattered it everywhere, so I need to go get a new one. But this is just going to make sure all of the colors on top blend out really easily. The first color that I'm going to use is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's called Orange Soda. I just want to make sure all of the other colors can kind of like blend into this color, so I'm putting this a little bit above my crease with a fluffy brush. And then the next shade I'm going to take is from Anastasia as well. This one's in the shade Caramel, and I'm just going to really start to deepen up the crease with a bigger fluffy brush and just work it from inner corner to outer corner and blow it up nice and high. And then I'm going to take the shade Sidekick. This one's from Makeup Geek. So I'm pretty much just putting this in the same place. I just wanted to build up the colors darker and darker so it was easier to blend. So the next color I'm taking is also from Makeup Geek. This one's called Cabin Fever. It is a really nice, rich, warm brown. It is so stunning. So just on a smaller blending brush, I'm going to focus that directly in the crease, not take it too high, and really pack it on. So I did go back in with that original crease color and blended out the edges a little bit so it was a nice dark to light radiant. So next I'm going in with the Violet Voss Glitter Glue and I'm just going to pack this all over my lid and then on top of that I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Supernatural Foiled Pigment. This is a very beautiful bronzy shade so just packing that right on over the top and cleaning up any fallout and also the edge of the eyeshadow so it's nice and sharp and clean. Now it's time for the face. I'm taking this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I use it all the time and I'm nearly done, but because I do have dry skin, I want to make sure my face is super hydrated so the foundation goes on really smooth on top. Next, I'm taking my Tarte Smoothing Primer. This honestly made my skin so soft. I'm really loving this one. Now for foundation, I'm taking the Hourglass Stick Foundation in the shade Warm Beige and just putting a lot on there because I do want full coverage and then blending it in with a kabuki brush and the finish of this was so beautiful. It just covers everything, evens out the skin and I love this shade to match my fake tan neck. Although my fake tan neck was very dark, I put way too much on. It was just like a wash off one and it didn't really work out but we'll bronze the face up later. Just setting my brows with the Tint My Brow by Astralis in the shade Light Brown. I just wanted to lighten them a little bit and also make sure they're sitting up nice and high so they look very texturized. Now it's time for concealer. I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. This is the perfect shade for me. It really highlights under the eyes and also colors any sort of discoloration. This stuff is so full coverage. If you guys haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend getting it. It is my favorite 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 concealer in the world next I'm just gonna bake under my eyes using the air spun powder this is really great if you're on a budget it is super affordable and it works very well so I'm really impressed with that and then we're going in with the Astralis full coverage brick and powder this honestly is so full coverage it's amazing so just setting my whole entire face and this also does make your face very matte as well for the lower lash line, I'm going in with Sidekick from Makeup Geek from the outer corner to the inner corner. And then on top of that, to make it a little bit darker, I'm taking Cabin Fever, which was the darkest shade in the crease, and just going straight over the top with that so it's nice and smoky. And then, of course, it's time for mascara. I'm taking this one from MAC. It is really good for the lower lashes to really get into every single one. So to darken up everything even more, I took this black eyeliner from Stila and just took that in my waterline. Of course, I'm going to pop some massive lashes on. These are honestly just a random pair I found in my cupboard. Anything works. So now let's move on to highlighting the inner corner. I'm taking the Astralis Metallics Eyeshadow in the shade Gold Gaga. And then on top of that, I'm going to put the MAC Glitter in the shade Gold, just so we have a really intense pop of light color there and these two work so beautifully together. Now it's time to contour. I'm taking this Pro Glow palette from Tarte and I'm just going to take the sculpting shade with my NARS Eater brush and just carve out my cheekbones. This brush, I think it's the last time I'm going to use it because it always makes my contour look so intense and because I naturally have really defined cheekbones, it just looks crazy. Although it is really good for contouring the nose, I will give it that. Okay, so let's move on to the bronzer. I'm taking this Ofra Blush Slash Bronzer in the shade Bronzing Gold. It is so beautiful. I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones, around my jawbone, and also on my hairline to give my face that bronzy effect. 
But I would have to say this bronzer is one of my favorites, which is saying a lot because I do love the MAC bronzers so incredibly much. So this is a big thing for me, guys. For the blush, I'm taking this one from CoverGirl. This one's in the shade 590. It is so beautiful. It's a really nice rosy pink and it has so many shimmers in it. So the face is honestly like blinding already. But of course I had to go in with another highlighter. This one's from the Tarte palette as well and it's called Lit. So I'm just gonna put the Tatcha Dewy Mist on the brush and that's gonna act as like a max fix a MAC Fix Plus and make it even more intense so just on top of my cheekbones and also on my nose as well to make sure my face is literally glowing and blinding you. And of course to make my face even more glowy I'm taking that Touch Eye Dewy Mist and just spraying it all over my cheeks. So to highlight the brow bone I'm going to take the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Nylon and just take a little tiny pencil brush and put that right underneath my eyebrow. I never do this but I think it looks so pretty. For the lips today, I'm taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Insanity. This is a really nice nude that goes with so many different shades of nude, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to outline my lips as I love to do. This formula is very buttery and easy to apply. And then for the actual liquid lipstick, I'm going to take the Plush Cream by Makeup Geek in the shade Jet Setter. This is a very creamy formula, so it's not going to dry out your lips. It is very moisturizing, but I feel like the color was a little bit too brown so I went in with this Essence lip gloss it's a little bit more pink and I just pop that right on top so my lips look even bigger and just juicy you know what I mean so I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial I decided to put in some blue eye contacts and I think they look so cute but I love you guys so much don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'll see you in my next video bye 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 chicka wangs <laughs>